Academy was created because uh, a transaction can often represent a moment that matters in a company's history. Value can be won or lost on a complex transaction. And so at Deloitte we felt it was important to create an environment where we could help our clients think through those complexities and help them build uh, strong strategies towards growth and value creation. The theme that we decided on was opportunity in a time of change. And so we thought about talking through economic insights, political insights, recent trends we see in the markets. Uh, we thought about looking at the definition of value creation, how to tell your value story. At the end of the day, our objective is to bring people and experts together to share ideas and in the hopes that whoever comes into the academy leaves with at least one new idea, one new mindset, one new opportunity they might not have had when they walked in. I think we see there being a, a client need right now in terms of things in the market are changing, they're changing at a much faster pace. And so as we think about a potential cycle turn or business cycle, we want to make sure that clients have what they need to sort of go through that next turn and come out the other side stronger. That's sort of one objective. The other objective is the market, as I mentioned, is changing. And so how do we as a firm push ourselves on a continuous basis to think about being at the leading edge of that change and so while we're helping our clients on this journey, we're actually forcing ourselves to disrupt ourselves internally and go on this journey together with our clients. I really enjoyed the fact that Deloitte put together a people who could speak to me, spoke, spoke volumes for me. It's great to hear about from a combination of folks who work at, not only at Deloitte and kind of have that industry leading thought, but also from folks from other businesses and companies across Canada who can share their real life experience about some of the things they've been through in the M&A cycle. And of course, seeing Masai Ujiri kind of speak in person is going to be a treat. When I listen to him speak and how passionate he is, I can sit and listen to him and model his behavior on how he grew his franchise in the same way I want to grow my company.